Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're here for the first time, hi. My name is Gatle Ho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my journey. I hope you stay and enjoy more of my content. Please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to comment in the comment section and to share my video to anyone you know would appreciate um, the type of content that I put out there. So basically anyone who would enjoy my content, I would really, really appreciate it and if you're returning thank you so much for your continuous support as always it is highly appreciated thank you so much for taking some time in your day to watch my videos i really do hope that you enjoyed this one i would really appreciate if you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet it costs absolutely nothing but it would mean such a lot to me. I really want my channel to grow. I really want to grow um, this community. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me. It will help my channel to grow. And please don't forget to give it a like and to comment in the comment section. In today's video, I am unboxing my new stand mixer that I bought from Clicks and it's the Cambrook brand as you guys have seen. I was so excited about this machine guys, like so, so excited when it got here. I was over the moon <laughs> because for the longest time I would use a wooden spoon to cream butter and sugar and you know when you're baking so i was so happy and excited that finally i bought a mixer of my own and never again will i have to go through the whole arm um, struggle of having to mix batters and cream sugars and butters like yo guys it, oh if you have um creamed butter and sugar uh, with a wooden spoon or yeah with a wooden spoon or a whisk by hand like manually you know the struggle you know the stuff by the time that butter is nice and creamy your hand your arms are so 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 i feel so blessed to have this machine shown you guys that actually I thought this was plastic for some reason I really thought it was plastic but it's not it's some kind of metal because I was asking myself what if you have what if I have uh, or I'm making like a, a stiff dough you know or better wouldn't the plastic break but it's 
not plastic. I thought it's plastic, but okay, at the top, Lana, it is plastic, but this is some kind of metal. I think it's stainless steel. I don't know if you guys gonna be able to see inside. I think it's stainless steel. It just has like a, a black coating. And then there's also this Splash guard, I think. Yeah, there's a splash guard and it has this opening over here. You can add your ingredients while the mixer is on. So, yeah, it has these three attachments. So, let us switch it on and see if it has Samantha. Oh, so, when I close it, I need to move this. Okay. Let's, let's switch it on and see. I've already mentioned that I am making jam tarts and this is my second attempt at making them the first time I remember they didn't come out uh, basically the middle was still raw and <laughs> in my defense I remember on that day we had um, my mom uses a prepaid electricity, right? And we didn't see Ugutsi Seya Pela. And then I started baking. I remember I was making scones. And then right at the end, I think I was left with like butter and flowers. So I was like, ah, you know, jam tarts don't require a lot. And so I decided, okay, let me make some jam tarts. It wasn't really planned, but I made them as well. Yo, <laughs> guys, Ganti cases of Hela halfway through, and we didn't see what to say, Peli, because we were sitting in my um in my mom's room, so the lights were not on, right? So we're just chilling, Jamie. And I'm thinking I'm baking, and whatever I'm making is just yeah, oven, right? Only to find a good tea, it gets it, and 
I'm even saying Dana because we had been said so like I set the timer on the stove and even when the stove is off the timer still continues so the timer had already gone off that's how I know uh, Dala, 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 and I, I'm thinking oh actually not thinking I was hoping Oguti the jam tata vutiwe oh only to find when we sliced them ah the batter in the middle was still raw but anyway yeah so this time um i'm really hoping good as of to our fingers crossed i really hope as of and i'm going to be using a round 10 because i don't have a square one like i do have a square one but I wanted a smaller um, a smaller pan which I don't have so I'm gonna use the round one anyway it's fine because I didn't want to make a lot of jam tarts and then they go to waste because we didn't finish them I don't have a sweet tooth so sweet things didn't capella capella so yeah I, I didn't want to make a lot That is the very reason why they included a splash card. Tell me why didn't I use it? Like, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Like, mixing flour on high speed without a splash card. Like, anyway, I ended up having flour all over the place, but I quickly wiped it down and I continued um i continued mixing my batter with my hand because the spatula that i was using is a bit too soft and i was afraid it's going to break i actually got that spatula with my what is it um my kitchen mixer what no not mixer what is it called food processor okay i was just showing you guys this round uh, cake tin that i got from sheet street i actually bought two and the one that i'm showing you right now i haven't used it's just sitting in the cupboard and luckily it still had the price and i showed you guys i think it was 50 50 bucks yeah and yeah what was i saying um yeah the spatula that i was using i actually got it with my food processor it's for you know when you're making smoothies yeah so with better it 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 didn't work it it didn't work it is too soft so i saw a um especially especially for baking at pep home and next time i'm at the mall i think i'm going to go and buy myself one that's if i remember i must actually write it down and yeah it's it's much stronger it's thicker and stronger and will work perfectly with um it will be perfect for mixing batters and stuff
cutting the jam tarts was a bit tricky because it's triangles and I think the smaller you make them then they start it, it starts losing shape like it just cracks and yeah in in simpler terms so I think it would be best to bake jam tarts in a square tin but if you can slice them smaller also depends on how big you want them then you can always use the round tin like i did thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time